Hey folks, welcome to Proto's Gaming Network. Today we're going to be starting on a first playthrough of Catherine. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into the single player. Oh, the there's only single the player, so blah. Alright. We're going to go ahead and try this on normal. First time I actually played this on easy, mainly because I want, want to get the hang of the game before I challenge it on normal. So yeah, this will be cool. And as for this one, I'm actually going to go for the corrupt ending. So that'll be actually pretty interesting, because... Actually, yeah, mainly because the fact that you have to be a complete dick to everybody. To the Catherine with the K, and also that's including all the sheep you see in your evil dreams and all that. So... And as for this, this beginning right here, when I first started playing the game, it actually totally threw me off. I was like, what the frick am I watching? <laughs> this for a second kind of reminded me of, like, Loop on the Third. So what else was there? Oh yeah, of course, the ring. And there's some sort of Lord of the Ring stuff right here. So yeah, I was like, what the frick am I watching? When the night sky fills with glamour, a Hello. story. Oh my god, look at her hair. Look at the cleavage. Good evening. Welcome to the I'm not exactly sure what I should be staring at. The afro or the freaking the boobs? The midnight mm. Okay. About this oh my god, how does she make us so freaking sparkly? They say if you fall I'm way too amused about afro. Alright. Before you land, you die in real life. And they will mention that quite a few times Tonight's throughout the game. Is Catherine, an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain <laughs> curse has a terrifying week. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He's an early The Italian Stallion. Man. But Such a crack me when I first saw his jacket saying that on the shoulder of it. Nightmares. On top of that, a torrent of sweet seduction swoops down. Yep, upon buddy. Mm, what a playboy, huh? <laughs> that face really priceless. Able to overcome all the blocks oh, you'll see. In his That's life. pretty funny. His outcome hmm, depends on you, viewers. Ooh. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtains. Now enjoy the show until we meet again. Oh, dang. It's always a crappy sign. It's when you're sitting with a girl and she's tapping her now like that. That means come up with something hey, to amuse where'd her. where'd you go? Snap out of no. it! Were you even listening? Uh, totally. Sure. Of course I was. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. <laughs> Get past all these little credit things. Hmm, do not know if I want to skip that, so let's just go ahead and go watch this. So, yeah, anyway, as well as this planning, I'll tell you so, yeah, with this game, there's a total of three different endings you can actually get. There's a corrupt ending, which you end up with the Catherine of the C, the good ending, which is the Catherine of the K, of course, and the neutral ending, where you end up with neither. Of course, that new one sounds pretty lame, but yeah. Well, those, yeah, I've always liked this game just because it's one of those games that really keeps you on your toes as you're going through levels. Because you have to basically think quick because you don't have time to just sit there and like think about what you're going to be doing. So definitely a fun play and definitely worth buying. If you're an RPG or puzzle fan or just love anime, it's definitely worth it. Yo, yo, yo. Another cool part is the jukebox in the game. You can actually unlock music from the other games from this creator and stuff. But I shall tell you about that later because it looks like a cutscene's about to start. Or actually, the gameplay is about to start. <sighs> Tutorial time. This place. Oh. Kind of 
fucked up shit is this? Serious, bro. The bottom of the stage is falling. Use the direct. Say a lot of the tips that you're going to see these at um, some of the other sheep later on give. You're probably already going to be seeing me using since I've already been through the. Was it moral? Was it version? Oh, not the moral. Basically, I just got the good ending already. So just why I want to go towards the. Bad ending only because, uh, from what I heard from a few friends, it actually sounds pretty interesting. So press the cross button while holding the block. Use the directional buttons to push or pull it. Yes, this is basically the main puzzle feature is the fact that you can push, pull blocks. They actually link onto each other as long as the edges are touching, which you'll see them explain. Use it to give yourself a you also have, I think, a total of seven re um, undos, I believe. Per like turn or something like that to basically undo your mistakes that you screw up on. So if I move it like that, see, I can just undo my mistakes. So definitely does come in handy for the more difficult puzzles. Ah, new. No. God damn you! There we go. I don't freaking screw up a lot doing that. Keep sitting there grabbing the wrong block. Like, no, you fool! Do you want us all to die? It'll be worth the effort. These pillars are pretty cool. Just because of the fact that they actually give you more retries, which you admit, gradually gain more as you go through the levels. If I remember with the easy mode, you actually, I think you got like unlimited or something like that. Don't just push blocks around without thinking about it. They'll collapse, and you can put yourself into an impo Collapse? Moving blocks around carelessly can make things more difficult. Another thing right there you gotta be careful of. First. Try pulling a block to make some footing. Edge. Yeah, see, see. Edge. It's all just like a little basic stuff you can do right here. All right, I got it. The coins are. This is very important, so make sure. What is it? These blocks aren't normal. They'll lock into place and support your weight, even if they're only touching by their. Yeah, see the thing I mentioned earlier. What's that supposed to mean? They. Even if a block has nothing directly under it, as long as it's touching an edge of another block, it won't fall down. The edges glow bluish white when making a connection. It's like that, and also the coins come in handy because, as far as I know, you know, you can buy stuff, and I think they also make you be able to climb faster. Or oh, that might have actually been the drinking in the bar, but. We'll save that part towards probably I think after the boss fight. That's when they actually let you roam around the bar. See how the edges connect? Doesn't make any sense. How is it not falling? I mean, what about gravity? Fuck gravity. We don't need no gravity. Don't think about it. Just use it to your advantage. Just get used to it. Quickly making stairs is the core of successfully scaling the tower. Use the edges to create. I can do it that way, or this is basically what they call... Actually, let me do it the other way. Actually, they both have the same amount. So yeah, basically, this thing called a pyramid is from what I remember the sheep said, but start those two out, and there you go, I got stairs. So that's actually pretty cool. That ringing means you're almost out of this friggin' level. As you near the top, you will hear a bell ringing. Anyway, good luck. If we both make it out of here alive, we'll meet again. Hey, hey, wait a sec! <laughs> ah, crap. Okay. See, as I said before, connecting the edges, making right, more right, stairs. Alright, I got it. Crap. Yeah. Right. And we are free. I can get out through here. Oh, 
Yay, safety bonus. Look at that sexy safety bonus. Ah, I got a bronze. <laughs> That's probably because I was busy explaining everything. Oh well. Itching man code must do this first thing in the morning. Oh shit, wait, did he actually wet his bed? Ah, good, we're safe. Ah, fucking hello. Uh, hello? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be in today's code review meeting. Really? No, no, I'm just, uh, just a little under the weather. No, no, it's okay, I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, sorry. Shower time. Are you getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything? <sighs> mm. uh. So fuck Here, tea. two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like, where you're in danger? No, no, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No, I usually do the killing in my dreams. <laughs> oh shit. Do not mess with her. Yeah, that sounds like you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? Um, oh shit. Quick, reverse the question. Reverse the question. Hmm. How many years? Good job. I'm asking you. It's just my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but. Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but. I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose. Oh, what the fuck is that shit? And in other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been. Hey, change it! The Chief match is on! No! Oh, two beers over here! Hey, Vinny, you old child ahead. Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it. Feather's totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? And what do you think? So? Who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. Are you kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know? Oh, wouldn't you want to bet on women's wrestling? Not better than Sounds women's to me. Wrestling than like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it mean? I've known you since we were kids, but wow, you. Married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I, mean, I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? 